All right, I'm going to get right to the point. This is a charge to all the people in power, especially those that have family members or backgrounds coming from the hood, like Chicago, St. Louis, East St. Louis, Los Angeles, Oakland, down south, all across the country, Midwest, every region. Okay, you, you guys, there's people who are multi-billion dollar athletes and entertainers. They haven't built us one elementary school or daycare center or, or all these clothes are manufacturing. They have the people overseas make, and they don't give the people who's been in, going outside their means, necessarily, you know, for real, uh, the, the, the jobs and opportunities to even be able to afford this, uh, the money to pay for these damn $300 fucking jeans and shit. I ain't buying no $300 jeans, y'all. Y'all got me twisted. Okay, I could buy a car for three hundred dollars. Word up, you know, and live in that motherfucker, man. But but the the simple I, this is a charge to you, you know. Hey man, I will work for a decent amount of money. I shouldn't have to pay to go to work. All right, my last job I had uh, after child support, and I was paying to go to work. You know that's insulting, man. I got thirteen years experience. I'm not the only one who don't have a job out here. That ain't what this is about. It's about us as black people. And, and Indian people, you know, Native Americans and Latin people and, and other people who are from America, uh, we, we get rich and we get a business going and we, we get to the, the, into these Fortune 500 companies and all of a sudden we forget where we come from, okay? There's a lot of bougie-ass, materialistic, superficial, super extra self-centered people out here in the world, man, that it just makes me want to stick their nose in the toilet after they take a shit and say, see, it, it stinks too, just like everybody else's, you know, and that's just real talk, man, got the rest, you know, and, and, and meanwhile, we're dying in the street and uh, getting distracted from it, I'm going to say it again, getting distracted from it by these celebrities, and I'm going to quote LeBron James, I made the decision to go to Miami so I could be with the, tri I could be with the trifecta and I could be a winner, I could be on a winning team. I could get me a ring. He's all about him. All right? I don't know how his mama raised him to be. And keep in mind, you, you are representing your, your parents when you're out here conducting yourself in the world, young and grown people alike. Man, get it right, man. You don't want nobody talking about your mama. Act like you got some sense. Okay? All right, and if I'm a little bit too light-skinned to be saying this, man, please, some of the dark-skinned brothers, man, brothers, man, stand up and say this. For real, I mean, just bring it to their face, just like this, man. I really don't, I really don't care, man. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to go on a venture, you know. And uh, when I apply for aid and everything, I'm gonna check the box that says I am, my race is white and my ethnicity is black. And um, when they try to say uh, you're not white, I'm gonna ask them why, because I'm, I'm, I'm white the same way I am black. I love my blackness. Don't get it twisted. I'm about to prove a point here. It's really not about all that. It's about class and society levels and, and greed. Fucking greedy ass people, man. I'm not asking. I'm not sitting here with my hand out. I'm saying, I'm saying uh, if I had all that money, man, I wouldn't be buying up a plantation to live in with two of my family members and, and shit, man. And you got Michael Vicks and all this cat, man. Bro, get, get it right, man. You know what I mean? LeBron James, get it right, man. Everybody else, get it fucking right, man. Get married and keep your dick in your pants, dude. Save it for your wife, man. Quit, you you making us look bad out here in the streets. So me personally, man, um, I'm negative my bank account right now, man. But you know, as a matter of fact, uh, if I had if I had a few million dollars, man, I would start a business, man, to employ a neighborhood that don't have the opportunity to be employed and make a livable wage. Surviving and living are two different things, and what most of us doing right now ain't living. So I'm looking at my brothers like help, and they're looking at me like everybody got their hand out. Looks like you got a problem with yourself, homie. So, man, I'll shut the fuck up when, uh, you know, LeBron James uh, builds some fucking elementary schools and staffs them, you know, and screens the teachers to make sure we ain't got some racist fucks teaching our kids around some of these uh School teachers, man, nigger this, nigger that, teaching our kids, man. Yeah, we don't need them kind of people. We got to be able to say that that element is not 
allowed in our society. We ain't got we ain't got room for it. You know what I mean? It all comes down to you're gonna do the right thing or you're gonna do the wrong thing. And at the end of the day, that determines who you was that day, man. So that being said, man. Hey, man. Quit being greedy. All right. Hire me to do more than wash your car and cut your lawn. Matter of fact, I'll do that right now. You know, shit. I, I want to be able to treat my wife right, man. She's working hard. And her husband's having a hard time, you know. And that's my fault for getting a felony record. Still, yeah, I am a damn. I keep trying. I refuse to sell drugs or be a criminal. I'd rather go hungry than do that. I'm going to do it the hard way. Maybe be on my peace. Hey, man, open up some businesses and schools and grocery stores and shit in the neighborhood that you happen to be blessed enough to rise up out of. You're supposed to make it better, y'all. What the hell is wrong with you?